Hello there, my fire friends. I hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand, not all messages will resonate and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And of course, friends, if you enjoy these messages, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. So friends, we have now entered in the east direction of the medicine wheel, which is beautiful. For some of us, it's the spring equinox, but what this talks about is new energies coming in. And so I think what we need to do is to pull a beautiful spirit animal card for you and look at the new energies coming in for you guys. So let's do it, starting with Aries. Spirit animal message for Aries, please. Spirit animal message for Aries. And I have to say, I already had the eagle, like, fly out of this deck, literally, okay? So it was excellent, considering eagle is like an east direction animal, especially for me, so, whew. Okay, east direction for Aries, please. East direction spirit animals for Aries. Aries, please. What's going on for Aries? Aries, spirit animal. Ooh, okay. Two messages kind of coming out here, but I'm gonna focus on one of them more than the others. So the first, well, the two cards that came out was monkey and then porcupine, but I'm gonna focus on monkey, okay? Monkey is about ingenuity. It's about being flexible. It's about knowing and seeing the connections between certain things and not being afraid to do new things in order to move in a new direction. What it says down here is the situation calls for adaptability and innovation. So definitely an east direction message, adaptability, innovation, momentum, changing things up and moving forward, being flexible, okay? So there's gonna be some changes going on for you, Aries, and you're gonna to have to be able to move with the tides, okay? Now, the other message showing up for you here as well, which I think is secondary, is porcupine and innocence. And this is gonna talk about freeing yourself of guilt and shame, okay? So if you feel like you have your back up, if you feel like you need to defend yourself, please put all that aside. You have done absolutely nothing wrong, okay? All right, so. But definitely, I really feel the pull for you, Aries, is this monkey and ingenuity. So being flexible. Think about a monkey out in the trees. If their monkey is going to fall down, are they going to hit the ground? Probably not. Because they have all their legs, they have their feet, they have their tail. And so they're able to adapt to the situation and pull on the resources in the moment they can to keep themselves afloat. So this is exactly the same energy that you're going to be needing for the next little while, okay? So three cards for Aries, please. More details. Okay, it's already coming out. Boom, there's the three cards. Okay, so definitely Aries, you are leaving a situation or you are leaving either whether this is a person, places, work environment, it could all be different for you, okay? But definitely five of swords is coming up. So this is fighting energy, this is instability. This could be like you not being happy either with a partner or where you're at with your work. This could be you being really tired of the patterns that you're in right now because it's a negative pattern and you're tired of going through the same thing over and over. So this is your past leading up until today. So this is like the step that we're ready to say goodbye to. Check it out. Eight of Wands is also coming up for you, Aries. So this means that there is new things on the horizon and not that far away. This talks about fast moving energy, hearing news, getting opportunities, things moving and shaking for you. This could actually even talk about a physical move for some of you, but I do feel that this talks more about opportunity and new things coming in. So Aries, keep your eyes open for these new opportunities. You may not know what they look like coming in, but it is okay, they're still showing up here. And also a little piece of advice and guidance for you moving forward, nine of wands in reverse. So Aries, this is telling you don't get your back up. I know you're coming out of a place where you've been fighting or arguing or going through a really tough challenge and definitely overthinking problems and all of that kind of stuff, okay? But this is telling you that if you embrace these new energies coming in, that that stuff is all in the past. So don't bring it with you forward, right? Because if you're saying goodbye to something but you still cling to it, you can bring it into your future instead of leaving it where it belongs in the past so don't get defensive don't build up any walls don't anticipate problems leave that stuff in the past and truly move forward into your future fully i'm really interested to see what's coming down the line for you aries because that's a hot card big time okay leo what is going on for you overall spirit animal message for you leo east direction what is coming down the line for our leo pals one card for Leo, please. There it is. Damn. Ooh, Fox 
relax and adaptability. Check it out. And it says here, adapt to the changes that are happening. So Leo, for and I love how this is like a beautiful like red animal full of fire, right? So Leo, ultimately what Fox Energy is telling you is that there are changes happening for you, but you as an individual need to lay low and hang back, okay? So collect your information, see what's going on around you. Don't tell everybody about the moves that you're making or that the plans that you've got going on, okay? Stay, um, I don't wanna say stay hidden, but stay in the background and keep all of this stuff to yourself and make your moves quietly, okay? I know that's not a Leo thing, it's not a fire thing, I get it, but in this case, it is time for you to keep some of this to yourself, okay? When it is time to take action, you will know, you will feel it, and your fire is gonna come through, okay? So Leo, hold back on the energy so we don't you know, just jump out there too, too much, because if you do, it might not work out in the best way right away, okay? I also when I feel like I don't know if you have competition or if you have people like watching what you're doing or whatever the case is okay but I feel like for the stuff that you got on your plate right now and what's coming down the line it's time to just focus on yourself and keep it to yourself for now okay okay let's get into some details because this is an interesting card to come out for you Leo I just saw the seven of swords flip up as well this can be the liar cheater sneaker card maybe people are trying to steal your ideas not sure if that's what's going on there but there's definitely like a competitive type feel going on around this is Fox and adaptability for you, okay? Three cards for Leo. Three cards for Leo, please, okay? Two more for Leo, boom. Yeah, okay, Leo, Leo, more about Leo. What's coming down the line for Leo? A third card, please. Another card, please, for Leo. Yeah, okay. So you are, there is something new coming down for you as well, okay? And I really feel that you need to stay calm. I think that you're super excited about something because something's coming down the line. And I feel like there's gonna be a break in the energy for you, okay? But first message, Queen of Cups. Now, two things, you could be dealing with a female or a, or you could be a strong female. You could be having new energies coming in from another female, assisting you, supporting you, etc. But this is also telling, like the validation to tell you, be calm, don't get all emotionally reactive, stay cool and collected, okay? Use your intuitive senses to know when is the right time to jump, when is the tri right time to move, etc. And don't allow others to pressure you. You know what is right for you, Leo, okay? Queen energy. And check it out, the world. So definitely a validation that some stuff is ending and you are moving forward into a new cycle with new energies new beautiful opportunities coming your way and check it out here's the eagle or the hawk right in the corner already okay and I bring that up because I even had the hawk show up earlier in a message just this week and it's east direction all around all new energies hawk eagle okay all fire creation check it out fire burning the candles at both ends too so you're going to be busy and you're going into a new phase and this definitely is moving towards in a career or in a stability type platform for you okay because I've got the six of coins but also the two of coins in reverse came out with this so Leo this is saying that you can look forward to either having more stability having more fairness being treated fairly this can also look like you getting more opportunities in terms of career making more money being paid or compensated what it is that you feel like you should be paid or compensated for okay I really feel like you're taking a new a new step up you could be having even a new job new partnerships this kind of stuff and and I feel that this new opportunity coming in for you, this new chapter you're gonna be starting, is not only gonna bring you happiness and balance, but it's also going to get rid of some of the stuff in the past that maybe you had to, you know, be elusive on perhaps okay but this is just telling me that there's a lot of stability coming your way where in the past there wasn't instability so yeah definitely good stuff to look for for you too for you too as well Leo hmm. Okay, Sagittarius, you are up. One card for my Saggy pals, please. Spirit animal messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, whoa, whoa, wow, wow. Okay, so we're doing East Direction messages, new stuff showing up for you in the future. Check it out, Sagittarius, giraffe and foresight. And what it says here is you are able to see what's in store for the future. We're talking about future messages, okay? So this is about clairvoyance. This is about using your intuitive skills and also your interpretations to kind of 
forecast and foresee what is going on in the future. So you already have a keen idea about what it is that you want to do, what you want or what you expect to come in. And another card that kind of jumped out with it as well is snake and healer. And it says you are a healer. But certainly with snake medicine for me, it is always about transformation. It's about shedding the old versions of yourself and move forward in a new version of yourself. So you definitely know that there's changes you want to bring forward and you're starting to make the plans to already do it. You already might have plans already that you put in place, but you haven't seen them yet come to fruition. So cool stuff, Sagittarius. You're beating me to the punch. Okay. So three cards for Sagittarius. What's the details? What's going on in the future? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. There's your cards. Bam and bam. Okay. Sagittarius. There's some new stuff here for sure. You've made yourself available for something that wasn't like divine timing is at play here with the hangman in reverse. So something that you wanted access to or something that you weren't able to free yourself up for has now become available. You can now move on something where in the past you weren't able to move on it. This is absolutely divine timing. And I also have the eight of pentacles. So this is telling me that you've been wanting this for a long time and you've been really ready to go. This is about hard work and dedication and being detail oriented and sticking to the plan and seeing it through, right? Hard work is coming forward, but it's all gonna be for the greater good because I also have the high priestess showing up. Isn't it interesting that with giraffe and then the high priestess, it's kind of like you're seeing what you want and you see your power and aligning with it now so that you can get your power later, which is all about East Direction, forecasting the future so that you can work towards these new changes and adjustments, okay? Now, something else is showing up for me as well, which is interesting, six of swords in reverse for you came out with this high priestess. So this is saying that you might, even though there's changes happening, there's going to be some things that stay the same, but it's the nature of it is going to change. Possibly because you yourself are taking a step up. Possibly some of you are getting a promotion or taking a new leap of faith where your career is concerned and taking this step up. Possibly with this card showing up, it means you're still going to be in the same industry or organization or whatever the case is. Okay. This is possibly even working on a relationship. I think it's a lot more career oriented for most of you though. So this is telling me you're not entirely leaving, but the nature in which you hold your position, either in the organization, industry, whatever you're doing, you are leveling up, okay? You're not leaving the scene, you're just leveling up. Cool, cool Sagittarius. My fire friends, I hope that these messages gave you a lovely little preview into the beautiful East Direction changes that are coming your way. Harness these energies and use them to your best good so you can make the most out of it, get momentum and traction, and beautiful things will come your way. If you need a private session, Fire Signs, check me out on my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, and I hope to see you next week for your next reading. Bye, friends.